sharp, big chow chow, great day, lasso, lasso, collie, cover, pincer, pointer, German shepherd, English shepherd, schnauzer, samoid, suki, bully, husky, Pyrenees, Italiano, Portuguese, black lab, golden lab, mastiff, spits, and whippets. That's a lot of love for one small world. That's a lot of love for one small world. Hi, everybody. Today we're talking about trimming your pet's pads and treating them with nutrition. The pads of a canine's feet are what support their body and movement. Just like a pair of comfortable shoes, your dog's pads should be trimmed every six to seven weeks. This hair, if left unattended, can gather into quite a knot and become uncomfortable for your pet. In the winter, there are many potential dog paw health risks to avoid. Snow, ice, sand, and small rocks that can become stuck in the hair and lodge between the pads. Keeping the pads cleaned of hair growth will result in dogs bringing less debris into your home. Ideally, this process should be performed by a qualified groomer with clippers. Using large bladed scissors after clipping between the pads, you can clean up any residual hair. The scissor blade should be between seven to eight inches. The smaller the scissor may result in an accidental nick to the pad area. Place the scissors flush over the paw and trim. After you've cleaned and trimmed your pet's pads, protect, soothe and moisturize those pads with a touch of love paw protector. This product contains essential oils, herbs and vitamins to feed their weary pads and keep them soft and supple instead of dry and cracked which will cause discomfort. For further health tips, please visit atouchoflove.ca and enter a trivia contest for an opportunity to win a complimentary pop protector from A Touch of Love.